It's unrealistic to expect zero flies at your facility. Flies are one of those realities of living on a farm. We're aiming to control the fly population, not completely eliminate it. You can gauge the timing for these additional control measures by employing a monitoring program with the use of a set action threshold. The action threshold is the number that you're setting as you're putting together your fly management program, and it's the number of a pest population that indicates the need for additional control measures. The idea is that these measures are taken before a population explodes. Finding the best action threshold is a bit of a balancing act for your facility. If this number is set too low, that could result in an over-application of insecticides, which is not the best use of your time, your money, or your resources. If this number is set too high, you could be looking at a population explosion, and then control just becomes that much more difficult. You can assess fly populations using traps, spot cards, or any other monitoring device that you might have at your facility. Let's get into an example. Spot cards are an efficient, a cost-efficient way to monitor fly activity. You simply take a standard 3x5 white index card and attach it to a fly resting area. You want to check this card after about a week and count the fecal spots that you see on that card. Specs that are in excess of about 100 can be considered high fly infestations. Control is easier when you catch a fly infestation early. Consider additional control measures when you notice about 50 specs on your spot card. That's just a suggestion. The best action threshold might be different for your facility. Communication is key. Make sure that everyone is on the same page in terms of control measures and understands the importance of sanitation for fly control.